Hello ladies and gentile beings! What exciting times we live in! Yesterday marked a historic day for Star Wars Battlefront fans as we finally got to see some gameplay from the massively anticipated Star Wars Battlefront 2. So now that all of the hype and emotions have passed slightly, we should tuck our graphics boners away and ask some important questions. Such as, what have we learnt from the new trailer and the livestream events? Well, the more keen-eyed viewers may have already noticed the clone troopers and droids fighting in the background. That's because Star Wars Battlefront 2 allows players to play across all three eras of the Star Wars universe. That's right. So, if you're a fan of droids... I still can't seem to hit anything. Or the, let's be honest, far cooler clone troopers... Roger, Roger. Star Wars Battlefront 2 will cater to your every galactic conquest sci-fi based laser shooting blaster wielding need. Say, do you remember these guys from 2005? Well guess what? They're back baby. The Jet Troopers have their own class of unit now, and personally I can't wait to fly around like a fuel guzzling cosmonaut. After 12 years of waiting, we finally get this unit in a crisp 3D next generation model, ready to go out of the box. Jet Troopers are one of the Star Wars community's largest fascinations, and one of my personal favourites. Based on the footage we saw yesterday, I know I'm going to be pleased. Their arsenal seems to be loosely based around the Clone Wars animation series Trooper, and appears to be a very unique class in general, packing a combination of heavy weaponry and assault-based weapons. This doesn't look good. Concentrate all your fire on those blockers! That's right droids, run away. The clone troopers finally get playable AT-RT walkers, something the Battlefront community has been waiting for for, well, 12 years, maybe more. The reality is these walkers have always been a bit too complicated to put into a video game, unlike the AT-ST and spider walkers we've seen previously. Which brings us to another important point. Starfighters. Yes, aerial dogfighting will be a massive part of Battlefront 2, as it has been with all the previous titles. So whether you're fighting over Endor, or Yavin 4, or Kashyyyk, or Theed, just make sure of one thing. Bring your Naboo Starfighter. Shields up! Like this! Maybe try and help R2 out later as well. While you watch this footage of some dogfighting from the live stream, I'll also overlay some interesting pictures from the trailer that could give away what sort of maps we'll be playing on. So as you can see in the top left, I highly suspect that to be Kashyyyk. Here's what I believe to be Starkiller Base from the First Order era. Then here we have a photo of Boba Fett and Luke on Tatooine. And finally, Yavin 4, my personal favourite environment to be. I can't wait to play on these maps personally. But the level design of Athead is also incredible. Now unfortunately, every good game has its weak points, and I have a bad feeling about this. Sector is clear. Not clear, not clear! Yes, it's Darth Maul. Now don't get me wrong, I am massively excited that he's finally a playable character in a video game. However, I do have a massive concern with Darth Maul. Based on the footage we've seen so far, I can happily say that he is massively overpowered, often clearing out entire rooms of clone troopers without even taking a single hit of damage. This concerns me, because when developers finally accomplish a massive project, a very famous character in a video game like this, they often do get carried away. And in the live streams yesterday, not only do we see Darth Maul absolutely annihilating clone troopers, but we can also see him annihilating a fair few heroes very quickly as well. But you know me, I like to finish on a lighter note, something we can look forward to. So here's that. All wings! We're coming up on the Star Destroyer, but we need to clear that escort! Let's give him everything we got! So, yes, there's going to be space battles and we're all sincerely hoping that they're going to be on a much larger scale than was featured in the previous Battlefront. Perhaps my dreams of experiencing the battle over Coruscant firsthand will finally be realised. Yeah. 
So grab your friends and party up for All Out Galactic Conquest when Battlefront 2 comes out this November. So whether you're fighting for the forces of light or dark, I'll see you soldiers out on the battlefront. Hoorah!